Hey guys, today I'm going to review for you an application that promises to give you a better experience than your stock mail application on your Android device or even the Gmail in some instances. Let's check it out. Cloud Magic is a mail application that was recently featured on the XDA portal by Samantha. Now this app was put together by XDA senior member Ashwin Sadeep. It supports a lot of mailbox types as far as Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, Outlook, and you guys could see this list, it's nice. It also supports exchange services and we'll get into that when we open up the device. The other thing we want to keep in mind is that the aesthetics of this application are very well done and well rounded. If we check the thread, the developer gives us a few features as far as why he thinks this application is very nice, a link to the application on the Google Play Store, as well as a link to download this application at the bottom of the thread. The main thing you want to keep in mind, the current version of this application that we're reviewing is still free. There are some conversations on the thread that discuss a future version that supports additional features that will be a pro version, but I would definitely recommend getting in on the grounds from this because this is a very well and very promising application. First thing we want to do is download and install the application from the Google Play Store. Store. I went ahead and did that already. You get well uh, introduced first thing obviously to a welcome screen, explains to you the different mailboxes that it supports, but it also gives you an option to log in with a Magic Cloud account. If you haven't used this before, the first time you're going to use it, obviously you'll go in to get started. It gives you a list of the supported mailboxes, the 365, Google Apps, Gmail, Yahoo, Exchange, Cloud, all the good stuff, all the different types of mailboxes that you want to be able to use on this device. On the other end, if you've used this on multiple devices, such as the fact that, for me, I have it installed on my Note 3, I use it there, but I also want to use it on my Nexus 7, and that's why I wanted to show you guys here. I'll go back, and it says, do you have a, mail, a Magic Cloud account? I'll say OK. Once you've set up your information into the, your credential, it'll download all your information, your mailboxes, your mail setups. It goes in here, and it'll download everything. If you go into your Gmail, you'll get all the same folders. It syncs all of them in there. You're able to access them pretty seamlessly. By default, it does fade out, it goes away. Even though this is a tablet, you'd think they would customize that. The developer's working on a better UI for tablet and it's in the process currently. Again, this is the initial release, it's a free version of the application. At some point, the developer envisions a paid pro version that will have additional features. But even in that said, even that being said, uh, this is actually pretty good. Overall, what you see here is all your, uh, your mail information and your ability to star them, access them. If you want to delete a message, you just swipe to the left. You have the option of deleting it, resorting it into a different folder, or responding directly to the email itself. Swiping it back, you get you back into this position. The ability to basically customize or email, start an email, you're by default set to the main account that you set up this mail account, mail system with it. As far as the interface as well for what it does, if you, want, if you have your email and you want to basically interact with it, you can obviously select it open it. By default, the pin, pinch and zoom is not turned on. You have to double tap this. It takes you into the email. Zoom in, zoom out. You're able to open it up and then just hit back and you bet you're out of the pen and zoom mode as they call it. You have the ability of reply, forward, pen, zoom, and show details, which is very nice. It gives you the information as far as when the email was sent, all the good information that you need. Uh, by default, reply to all is the setup function, which I find to be a little bit off. I think at some point that should change. I think default, most people reply directly to the main person. Reply all is a secondary option. The other thing you have here is somewhat of a navigation bar that goes away as you're scrolling, but once you stop, it comes back. The ability of resorting this, uh, this email into another folder. You can straight, you know, move it obviously to trash or spam or whatever, deleting it, or directly setting up a, you know, uh, back into the inbox and it takes you back in there. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, the interface of this is very nice, very beautiful, the way it works. Um, you have the ability to go in into settings here, and the settings are actually not that complicated. It lists the accounts that you have. Uh, the app settings as far as app passcode, this is what I was setting up at the beginning of this. It's off by default. You can set it so that it actually locks or it locks the permission to the device once you're in, not the device, but specifically the mail application. By default, it's a one minute sleep. I changed it to 30 seconds. It'll be easy and then we can go back. You have frequently asked questions, contacting for support, having trouble, sending a diagnostic log. This is great if you have problems when you're running this app. If you don't have the ability to run it, you're crashing, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff, send a diagnostic log because that's the only way for the developer to be able to figure out what's going on on your specific device. And as far as account settings, this is the other thing that the developer makes people aware that this is what the account is set up under on the Cloud Magic. And if you don't want to use this account anymore, and you want to delete it or you want to cancel it, you just go in here and say delete. And it will delete all the information, all the credentials that they've stored encrypted on their servers. No problem. Definitely great. 
And again, deleting it has come through here. Installing or downloading the application is pretty simple. You can download the APK from the thread, or you can go straight to the Google Play Store and download the link, uh, download the application from there. It works very well. It's free in the current version, although from what I see is it looks like there is going to be, there will be a version that will be a pro version that'll have additional features. There is a tablet UI in the works. Uh, there are some customizations coming up. Definitely let the developer know what you're thinking of or what you're missing out of this application if you see any promise and if you like it. Uh, overall, the interface, as you guys saw on the, the demo, looks very nice, very clean, very sleek. Uh, the ability to swipe for functionalities is very nice. That's something new that you don't have necessarily on other applications. Uh, the ability to be able to actually sync up all your folders is on the left side. The tablet UI and the, and the phone UI is pretty much the same. You actually have to swipe it in to be able to see that side, but I find that it makes it cleaner and it basically focuses on the mailbox. Uh, you're able to set up information as far as your email account and your passwords on one account on the Cloud uh, Cloud Magic server. And what enable what that it will do for you is it enables you to set it up on your mobile device and then jump into your tablet and then back or in boom right there all your information is already in there. Um, it does work very well. It does it does need to store this information on a server. So that's part of the Cloud Magic part of it is. It stores your login information on the server. It is encrypted. The developers provide us information saying that the information even is encrypted to them. It's only available to us. So security has definitely been, uh, been looked at and it's definitely one of the main things that they're keeping in mind in there. Overall, the mail application itself works and functions correctly. You're able to also go under the settings and if you want, you can change the default mail application, uh, sorry, the default account associated with it. When you first set up the mail, uh, any account on this, if you don't have anything else, by default it ends up being your Cloud Mail or Cloud Magic uh, username and password. And if you don't want that, once you set up a separate account, you can change that and put that in. It works quite well. It supports Exchange. It does support, um, you know, obviously Yahoo, uh, you know, Gmail, all of the good stuff, all the main ones that you guys probably will end up using. The main thing I want to give you guys a heads up is I tested it on four devices. On the Nexus 7, the HTC One, and the Note 3, it works quite well. All three are running Android 4.3. There was no issues. It synced up. It worked very well. When I went into Android, uh, the Nexus 5 for, with KitKat, I found that there was a problem with the Exchange server. And that's not because of the application. That's because KitKat has a problem with Exchange services at this point. And this is something that Google needs to uh, address. I find that it was a little bit of a downer for me as far as trying to use this as a main driver for my work phone, uh, but it didn't work. So can't do anything about that part at this point. It just doesn't work. Uh, so keep that in mind. It is not fault of the uh, uh, Exchange server functionality within the application. It's just basically KitKat needs to be updated. Uh, let me know what you think. Check it out. It definitely is some, something that's worth using. Uh, for me, it solved a big problem. I've had made problems using the Yahoo Mail application. I don't like the interface that it works with. Uh, and I'm not necessarily too fond of the stock mail application that comes on Android. Uh, at least not on the Note 3. For some reason, TouchWiz or somehow they did something to it. But over, over time, it'll work initially and it just stops working. So anyways, that's just my personal experience on TouchWiz with Yahoo Mail accounts. It's kind of forcing me to use Yahoo Mail, but I don't want to use that. I like this application and I like the functionality. Uh, again, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you guys are keeping an eye on my channel, you'll definitely should be seeing a, uh, an HTC One Android 4.3 update review of the device uh, coming up pretty soon. I'll see you guys soon.